Our meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report and so far before 430 this morning, things have been dry, but those south winds are coming in and the moisture levels are increasing out of the Gulf, which means that it's starting to get a little bit more humid and it's not as cold as it has been in recent mornings. Temperatures are starting off in the 50s. We'll get to the low 70s this afternoon. A slim rain chance exists for today, but much higher probabilities of rain and storms exist for tomorrow, specifically tomorrow night, which is when the risk of strong to severe storms will move in across the Gulf Coast and you can see that well defined cold front located right across the nation's midsection. That's what's going to blow through here on New Year's Day and that's when we'll start to see the sky gradually clearing and the temperatures beginning to cool back off. Here's your weather headlines for your Wednesday. The clouds increase. The air gets more humid. New Year's Eve tomorrow. Storms are going to be likely specifically at nighttime and then on New Year's Day we get the sky to gradually clear in the weather to improve on the Fox 10 future cast for the next 24 hours. We'll deal with a partly sunny sky. More clouds than sun. As far as rainfall, the overall coverage is going to be low today, but a stray shower can't be totally ruled out. And then as we head in toward the late night hours and into the pre dawn hours of Thursday, the weather stays mostly quiet but humid and cloudy. Here's how the next seven days are going to be stacking up for you. Highs today and tomorrow in the low 70s. Strong to severe storms tomorrow night. Then as we get into New Year's Day and into the weekend, we see the weather improving. We go drier and cooler with highs getting back into the 50s by Sunday and morning temperatures actually dropping back into the 30s. Now we're going to have much more about your forecast uh, throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.